Many fans say it is just as good as the 4th of July show. Tonight, thousands of people turned out for the run-through of the Boston Pops fireworks spectacular. No comfortable breeze out there tonight. This was a hot one. Julie McDonald is on the Esplanade, where the weather also caused some excitement before the show. Well, the line started early. It was a long day. It was hot, even wet at times, but all worth it for a preview of the 4th of July celebration like only Boston knows how. After hours in the heat securing their spots, the crowd at Tuesday's rehearsal got just a taste of the 4th of July fun. Then Mother Nature stole the spotlight. That's okay. We're used to bad weather, so we have hurricanes down there in Florida. So Pouring rain paused the dry run, but spectators patiently passed the time. Many of them came quite a ways to see Boston's famous orchestra. Just to hear them in person, I've seen them on TV often. To see them in person is pretty awesome that I can get this close to. My wife, she loves classical music. She is a soprano singer. For other first timers, it was this year's headliners that drew them to town in the heat. What are you excited to see in the show? Rachel Platten. Rachel Platten. She's one of my favorite artists, so I'll try to make to every concert when she's in the Northeast. The fireworks finale is saved for the real thing Wednesday. Many who brave the crowds and heat say they wouldn't miss it. They'll be back for round two. The checkpoints open at 9 tomorrow morning. If you're planning on spending the 4th right here, pack lightly but with water at the top of your list. It's looking like another long, hot day. At the Esplanade, Julie McDonald, WBZ News.